class is that? Is that, yeah, that's them over here. Okay. All right. You know, I, I don't take five hours, you know, to, like, get into character or anything. I, I'm not that type of uh, individual. Sometimes I need a couple minutes to calm down to kind of understand where the hell I want to go with something. And then I might stutter a little bit for a little while like uh, Joe Biden. As somebody said, you're talking about how Joe Biden stutters. Well, you stutter just as bad, Rev. Yeah, well, I drank my brain to shit, you know, and there's consequences to that, that stuff. You really, really, really don't want to drink hey, too much. Jason. What? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were doing a video. Yeah, I'm doing a video. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm just... Well, you, remember you told me? Like, do a video. I'm doing it. What? Hey, what's up, Lizzie? What's up? I'm not... Uh, uh, next time I'm on, I'll put you on. Okay? Uh, Lizzie? I'm just doing a quick video here. Anyway, Jesus. Uh, I just want to say to Dragnaut, you're a dirty boule, aren't you, boy? We, I, I would really, you know, I'd love to know your knowledge on what, what exactly you know about all this stuff, but I think maybe the federal government has asked you, you know, why, be, because of the Diddy thing. You know, I had to do that because th there's, there's this thing going on right now with Masons. I'm going to tell you that the Masonic order and, and they, they, people keep wanting to talk about this. Okay. Like it's, uh, the Illuminati. Okay. The Illuminati do not exist anymore. The Illuminati was disbanded shortly after 1776, completely, and they do not exist, okay? The group that's trying to take over the planet fully into their grasp is just known as the Order. That's all they call themselves. They call themselves the Order. This Illuminati shit is uh, just a distraction because it's become entertainment. The Illuminati, oh, and then you got Beyonce going out there and Jay-Z and all these guys doing pyramid symbols over their eyes and shit. That's just the entertainment industry using something, man, okay? You want to say maybe Diddy knows some people that would be considered Illuminati? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. But that's not their name. They're just the order, Okay. And they're into everything. They're into to sex trafficking and drugs and uh, uh, stuff that's so horrific that we probably not going to go there. Okay. It's all the evil. And the cup is full. The, 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 the blood of the martyrs is spilt every day in Gaza. Yeah. You talk about Israel. They have a right to exist. I'm a Zionist. I am a Zionist. Yes, they have a right to exist. But Bibi Netanyahu is a fucking war criminal. And most of the fucking Ashkenazi Jewish government in Israel are satanic Sabbatean Satanists. They're Sabbatean Satanists. Look in the, just type that in, into your search. Okay, this, and this isn't anti-Semitism because I love Jews and I'm a, I'm a Zionist, okay? But Bibi Netanyahu is a war criminal and he's killing children every day. And he needs to be judged by God, and it will come. I believe we're at the time now where the world entirely, which would include it includes the United States, uh, we're is turning against Israel. It's now. Hey, Lizzie, have you seen all the Bibles uh, pertaining to the eclipse on Monday? I'm worried. Don't be worried at all, Lizzie. Okay, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. You got to be ready to see Christ in the clouds at any time. That's the, the doctrine of eminence. OK, I believe in that. And, and people want to say, oh, there's no there's no gathering of the church together. You're all full of shit. If you start denying that, I'm not going to listen to you no more. 
Hi, Stacy. What's up? So that's it. I just wanted Dragnot to know that me and Shani had really good sex and I made her come three times. Not doing nothing but just pounding, man, with, with what I got. Yeah, I, I got her off three times. She squirted in and, 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 and pushed my dick out of her pussy and I shoved it right back in really hard. And it was amazing. So I want you to know that I, I don't like anything in my booty hole, Drag. I'm not into that. I know your boule. I know your boule, uh, Drag. And I know that the boule love it in the booty hole. So you're into that. And I'm not judging it at all. If you like a, a man's penis in your asshole, that's entirely your deal, dude, you know? And the boulets love it. That's what they're into. Black masons love it in the asshole because they worship the phallus. If I didn't worship Jesus Christ, I would worship the female body as a whole. That would be my deal. Totally. I, 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 and, and as a Christian, I believe in the mother goddess spirit. I think it's a good thing. It's part, it's part, you got to add that somewhere into uh, God's equation because it's the Holy Spirit is definitely feminine. I want to announce here right now to you guys on the app called live.me. I am relaunching Revelation News. The account already exists. So I want everybody to download the app live.me. It's owned by Twitch. And I will be doing full-on Revelation news videos. Uh, I'll even go back to, like, doing the teaching videos once I get a laptop. But I need some money to get a laptop. And then uh, just a simple mic, a mic that sounds half-decent, you know, ready to go. So that's the deal. I just wanted to give a message to, to, to uh, Boule, uh, the butt, everybody's favorite butt buddy, the Boule, um, Draggy Poo. I wanted you to know that I think it's really cute that you wanted to get me and my wife into sex trafficking. I think that's pretty funny. We know that's what you were going for. I said to you, ah, oh, Drag, maybe sometime we can meet up, you know, in real life. That would be cool. He's like, yeah, I think we could probably arrange that. Drag not as part of a sex trafficking ring. If you go on his Kiora profile, you can see a bunch of sex workers on his Kiora. One of which has the name Shannon Silvis. Shanny Silvis is one of the hookers' names. This guy wants to fuck my wife so bad. Do you know that guy's Dragnot? Dragnot's really fucking into Shanny big time. Like crazy into her. So I just wanted him to know, you know. I forgive everybody for everything, including that guy. I really do. I've I've let I've let all this shit go. I have. Sorry, Lizzie, if it's a little rough. Hey, Lizzie, if I apologize, okay, if it's a little rough. Hi, Butters. What's up? I'm not surprised Shani is gorgeous. Yeah, she is. She is, isn't she? She's really pretty. You're getting complimented over here, Shani. You know? So I love you guys, okay? I love all you guys. I love you, Lizzie. I love you, Butters. You know, you're really sweet people. And, and, and we appreciate the sweet people. We love the sweet people. Not just because you're sweet in one way or another. You're just really nice people. I'm just shocked about all this. All Yeah, it is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's crazy. I love all you guys, okay? And I, I have let this stuff go. But I say to Dragnot, you know, you're a sadist. Right? What's up, 86 Dana? Uh, you're a sadist, right? So you'll like this anyway. It's a good day for me. Shanny came three times. She, she pushed me out of her three times because she was coming so hard. And then I slammed it right back in her and made her come harder. And then she let me give her anal, which is amazing because that's not something, you know, because I got a, I got a penis piercing. 
Channy needs to do her makeup with me sometime. That'd be awesome, Butters. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kind of happy today. Uh, I, it was a good day to be alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, is that right, Lizzie? Okay, I ain't, I ain't gonna go any farther, but uh, yeah, it was really good. The thing with the the thing with the butt is that there's a little period where you got to break it in a little bit, but then once it's broken in, oh my goodness. That that's not bad at all, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I made her come three times with my penis. Like I'm really, really, I never thought I could do that as a dude. Like I'm very, I'm pretty shy guy. I'm starting to get less shy, which I'm really happy about. But I always wanted to do that, and I'm able to do it, and it's really, it makes me happy. There you go. Yeah, you know what you're doing, Lizzie. Yep. You, you just got to warm it up a little bit with... Uh, just breaking it in a little bit. That's all it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop, all right? We, but I, I just love... You know, I love my relationship. Like, Shani's awesome. She's fun. We got her some fish nets today because somebody blessed us. Yeah, thank you, Lizzie. We're usually not that happy, you know. We got bad stuff going on in our lives sometimes. And if we could have good sex, that's a cool thing. Surprised you didn't get her preggers yet. She's got her tubes tight, Rogue. Can we see Shani too? I miss her. I, I would love to, but she's really just uh, doing her own thing right now. We've been watching things about meditation and stuff like that. And she's just, she is like in a zone. She'll probably have something cool for you. At some point today, maybe even. But uh, for right now. Oh, my God. Liz, you're like an angel, dude. You're seriously an angel. Okay? And I'm not just saying because you do stuff like that, what you just did. I'm not saying it because of that. You're just really a kind person. You know, that you actually friggin' care about people. You just hang on to that. Like I see Jesus in you, you know, just hang on to that because it's really, oh man, stuff is going to get weird and tough guys. And he's going to show up in the clouds though. That's great. I love lingerie. Can a woman feel, oh yeah, that's where it's at. <laughs> I could get, listen, listen. Okay. I'm married, so I'm not talking like that. Okay. But, but yeah, I'm real dirty. Okay. I got a dirty mind. I ain't perfect, man. I want to be as pure as possible. You know what I mean? I really do. I want to be a good boy all the time. I want to be a good boy. But I got a dirty fucking mind. I used to say, like, I, there's things in my head. Like, I could be, uh, like, Steve Quayle. Steve Quayle, before he got saved, was a pornographer. I could do that job. I got scenes in my head that are really good. Like if they'd be really hot pornos. <laughs> That's awesome. I just sent random cat. <laughs> yeah. And that works, Butters. It does. It, the Lord knows when you're in need. And, and P, he's going to send people that are chill and cool, you know. And thank God for that. Speaking of good boys, Gavin Kit Kats, I know. Is Shani tall? Yes, yeah, she is. Shani's 5'11", man. Shani is 5'11". What's up, uh, Deanne? What's up? Uh, she, she's tall as shit. The first time I saw her, you know, I was like, wow, you are amazing. She's like an Amazon. Her build is like the goddess. When you see, when you see the statues of Mother Goddess, like that's her physique. Me? How tall am I? I like, I always say 5'10 on my papers. If somebody asks my height is 5'10. 
Am I 5'10 without my shoes on? I don't know, like a, like maybe a quarter of an inch under 5'10. So I'm 5'10. Yeah. So me and Shani are like, if she does, if she wears heels. Mm -hmm. So damn, hell yeah, with those fishnets. Yeah, 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 that's right. See, you get it, Liz Lizzie, you get it. Yeah, the, it's the mother goddess uh, shape, you know. They make statues of it. They worship it. I would be one of those guys, okay, before Christ, before Christ came to save, okay, I would have been in, like, the fertility temples servicing women. That'd be my life, and I'd be so happy. Like that, I just give them women organ. I, I look. That's where I'm at, man. I feel that way. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not going to deny it. It is what it is. I, I really like pleasing a woman. Like that's the best thing on the planet to me. That's number one. You know what I mean? It's like it's better than me coming, making a woman come. I'm serious. That's it. Look into Rasputin. Okay, that's it. After you're done listening to this, go look up a documentary about Rasputin. He did sex magic to heal. What? And it worked? Yeah, it did. Look into Rasputin. People make him the most evil, but he was not evil at all. He was very touched by God. But he was dirty. That's for sure. That's because something, all of us like dirty a little bit. Just stop to say hello. If you guys need anything, shoot me a message on IG. Glad to see. You. God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to, ch I'll, I'll check when I end to see if I'm following you. I'm not sure. Thank you. So <laughs> one last thing I'll say, this got pretty lighthearted, so I'm happy about that. One last thing I say, when I was picking up, it's a primal nature for men. Yeah, yeah. See, you really understand, Lissy. You know, you got a luck. You got a lucky fiance. You, you, you really understand things. Yeah, and Butters agrees. You guys are cool, man. You understand. But when it gets into it, everything, is consent, right? That's what it is. But guys could also get very carried away. That's the problem. And and then, like, you know, you see the porn. I, yeah. You see the porn, man. And it's like sometimes guys can get really riled up and hurt. I, I seen porn, so like, right after they're done. She's bleeding. She's bleeding, man. No. If I was in the industry, I I would be doing my best to make sure something like that doesn't happen ever on, on one of the films that I did. You know, if I was a pornographer, no way. No, we're not we're not in the business of hurting women. We're in the business of pleasing them. Pleasing them, not hurting them. How you feel about BDSM? It's some of it's hot. Some of it's hot. Yeah gets you really riled up sexually. Uh, the stuff, pain, the pain part of it, I think it's unhealthy. If you have a person that's really enjoying pain during sex, I see something that they need to, we need to have a talk about it. Are you sure you're okay? Did you experience something horrible? And, 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 and you're enjoying uh, having some kind of unpleasant feeling with the play. I don't, yeah, I see a dysfunction and I'm not judging it. I'm just thinking the pain, why? And that can go very far as we all know. Okay. It could go from we're having consensual sex to you're being tortured really fast. Am I right? That could happen really quick. And if the guy's riled up, he's like, no, okay, you consented. We're going to do this. And he puts a fucking nail through your nipple. Like an itchy the killer. Consent to unconditionally love. Amen, butters. That's awesome. But that's what I'm saying. You got to be so careful. 
you got to be so careful, especially if, yeah, the emer yeah, that's right, butters, emergency words, safe word, and a trusting partner, that's right. No, the masochistic stuff is not, it's not big with me either. I don't feel those feelings because why would you want to give somebody that's beautiful, like a super hot girl, why would you want to hurt her? Why? No. You, you want to make her fucking quiver and squirt and scream your name. That's what you want if you're a normal dude. Like I think closeted homosexuals want to hurt a woman. Like fisting videos and stuff like that where the, the girl isn't even wide. And they're just shoving their fucking hand right up in her and hurting her, screaming. That's, if she's into that, okay. I worry about you. But okay, you have that freedom because she wants to be hurt. Yeah, see, that's the thing, Lynn. And that makes me so sad. Like, there's something behind that. Because she wants it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Some chicks like it. That's it. I just worry about why you like it. Because pain can go so far to kill you. And you get into snuff films. And that's where that shit comes from. Okay. Torture porn. Yeah, torture porn. That's what it ends in. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, it's me too, Liz. Choking is hot as fuck. Lots of people agree with you, Lynn. And that's cool. If you, you got to have your safe words, you got to trust your partner. And if you want to just, you know, I got my necklace. This thing is like, I couldn't even believe this, but this, this thing's like a sex toy. You want to see this shit? You could just like, you're, you're doing it right. And you can just pull this thing right in your neck and <laughs> they're going to use that. This is literally a BDSM device, this, my necklace. That could be real hot. I'm just saying. It's about trust, exactly. I'm not doing torture burn. I'm having hot, uh, fun with a hot man. Exactly, yeah. Sex isn't fun. A little bit of blood, Jesus. If it's not rough, it isn't fun. See, there you go. There you go. We got we got an agreement in here. And, and I'm not going to lie to you when I, when I fuck Shani today. I was grabbing her fucking ass so hard. I was putting, I probably, I probably put nail marks in her ass. I was grabbing her so hard and pulling her skirt up. That shit is so fucking good. <laughs> We're adults here. This, there, if, listen, if there's any kids in here right now, go leave. Okay. We're talking, we're talking, it's adults, we're adults. Everybody likes sex, man. Unless you're bad, unless you're asexual, you know, and you don't have feelings like that, because that's a thing too. Everybody loves sex. Come on. Bro, does Shani know you're sharing this? Yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. I was coming on here to just make a little funny Dragnaut video for now and kind of announce the live.me thing. Go, go get live.me app. And I'm relaunching Revelation News soon. You just joke. Yeah, it's all cool, man. I love having talks like this because I've always been a very sexual person. But I kept it inside because I was very self-conscious about my body and stuff like that, you know. Shani's relaxing. She's like in meditation mode. Good sex is so healing for your relationship, too. I feel like it reconnects you. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, I just, like, after we do it, I just want to cuddle her, you know, Liz? I just want to cuddle her so much, which I'm going to go and do right now. To drag not the boule. You like it in the booty hole, don't you, bruh? Oh, you like that booty hole of the boy. You like the booty hole of the boy, and you like having, you like having a pipe in your booty hole, don't you, boule? bad boy. You got to repent. You need Jesus. 